They've already started decorating the front. Wow, that's cool. Hey, SeaWorld. Howdy, Coaster Squad, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are here at SeaWorld San Antonio for a couple of different reasons. I'm um, just kind of hanging out in the park today. Uh, I needed to come and renew my season pass, or my annual pass, uh, because I am going to SeaWorld Orlando in a couple of weeks, and I realized I cannot get in there without my annual pass. So I was like, probably not going to renew it until Title Surge, uh, Title Surge opens, but I have to do it now because I'm going to SeaWorld Orlando so, in a couple of weeks. So... Uh, and I'm just going to go and hang out in the park. Um, you know, Hollow Scream is now over. We are approaching Christmas celebration. Uh, so I want to go ahead and see uh, what they've done, what the park has done um, to prepare for Christmas celebration. So let's do it. I will always say this. It does still feel weird, you know, walking through the guest entrance when I do work here now. Uh, I am working tomorrow. I'm doing a pip tomorrow and uh, closing pools. So, yeah, maybe I'll go over to, to, uh, to pools and to... Uh, penguin so i can just start doing stuff but yeah all right first up pass renewal all right i got the brand new pass um definitely wanted to do that to a get into seaworld orlando in a couple weeks and then b uh they're doing uh seaworld san Jose is doing this kind of program i forget the name of it i'm gonna put it on screen right now uh where um if you visit the park uh, uh more than like four times then you get to go to like an exclusive event for uh, Tidal Surge. So yeah, that's why I wanted to get that pass pretty soon. So yeah, but I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick and show you guys something cool. They got the polar bears, yay! I love the polar bears, they're so cute. And I'm very sad, I'm looking over here by Spankies and there's no pirate stuff. I'm sad. But anyway, let's go over, oh, excuse me. Let's go over this way. This way. So once again, I'm not too sure if I've gotten this on camera as well. Actually, I don't think I have, period. Um, but there is some construction going on over here as an Aquatica expansion. Uh, we are getting a new water slide. We're getting a new water slide. It is called Riptide Race. It is a clone of the, of the same exact ride that we saw at Aquatica Orlando. Uh, but they're doing construction on it right now. I believe spring 2022, around the same time as Tidal Surge when it's supposed to be done. So here's a little construction update for you. So I can get over the walls here. Yeah, not too much going on. They're still breaking ground for it. Um, but yeah, or maybe it might be in the summer. I know, I know Tidal Swords is already under, under construction and the parts are already there, but uh, they haven't got, I don't think they've gotten any of the parts for a Riptide Race yet. So yeah, very excited for the water slide. Actually, kind of not because, you know, it's the same thing as the one in Orlando. So yeah, but life goes on. Here's a closer look at another one of the polar bears. So cute, sponsored by Coca-Cola. I love that. Yeah, uh, looks like Dia de los Muertos is still going on. Um, I don't think they've stopped that yet, but oh, they've already updated some of the signs to Christmas celebration. Um, since Hollow Scream is over, I'm so sad. Uh, but it does start November 11th. I don't know if I'm gonna be here on November 11th. That's a Thursday. Uh, and then that weekend, I'm, pro I'm doing a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, but Tidal Surge, Spring 2022, woo! Yeah. So over here by a white whale and dolphin theater, you can see that they have started putting up some of the lights for Christmas celebration. You can see that they got these little lights hanging down right here. That's so cool. I love that. I always say SeaWorld goes super hard with the, the Christmas decorations. So very excited to see what they do uh, this year. But yeah, over here was where it was beautiful. It was super pretty over here. Oh, they're playing Sesame Street songs over Bay Play, love that. And the splash pads aren't open, gee, I wonder why. It's kind of cold out right now. We're finally starting to experience a little bit of cold weather here in San Antonio, so yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see all this stuff lit up in a few weeks. Yay! See, it looks like they still have all the Dia de los Muertos stuff up uh, from during Spooktacular. Uh, I saw the altar over here too, where um, you could like send uh, pictures of your lost loved ones 
to like a certain email or a text and then they would put them on the little screen right here so that's pretty cool uh but since but since uh dia de los muertos is over uh i guess they're not doing it anymore they also don't have any of the actors around here either so the little actors and the walk around people um i saw them a lot over here when i was doing beluga tours but yeah then over here by beluga bathrooms they got these little wreaths up with the lights oh they're cute i like that it's awesome it's kind of depressing seeing the splash pad in Bay of Play not open. The water's not going on them right now. Very smart though, because it's kind of cold. It's like 55 degrees. It was pretty cold for here in San Antonio. <gasps> oh, look it! Oh my goodness, look at Tidal Surge. Holy crap. Gooses. The geese are out to play, baby. The Egyptian geese strolling through Bay of Play. Hey! Oh, look at these little, look at these little uh, Christmas trees. Those are cute. I love that. We yeah, had the geese are out. I saw this earlier on last week, but they finally started putting up the actual ride parts of Tidal Surge, um, which sucks because they actually did. Um, TSU was here last weekend. Um, and they did a, uh, a hard hat construction tour as a little surprise on their um, on their little uh, SeaWorld day for Hollow Scream. So they got to go over there and check that out. But that that's the part that was over at the extended queue or extended lot, uh, extended parking lot for a long time. <laughs> Sorry, I was really enough to know my coworkers came behind me and said, "Hey." So, but yeah, I'm very excited to see what's coming over here. Uh, well, I already know what's coming over here, but. Uh, but yeah, it's looking good so far. They started putting up a lot of the Christmas stuff. All the Santa hats and all that. And the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stuff. Because they do a whole area over here that's based on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Which sucks. I didn't even notice it, but the Hollow Scream posters are still over there. <laughs> they haven't taken those down yet. So uh, yeah, those are still there. I wonder if they've done any uh, Rudolph stuff over here. Let's find out. And they got these little lights over here lighting up the, the rails um, surrounding Journey to Atlantis. It's closed right now because it's cold, but, but yeah, let's see what they've done over here. Oh man, no more Ripper Row. And the bar was over here too. They took that, it's like gone, gone. Uh, but this is where they have all the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stuff. Uh, and also the Christmas trees over here too. Um, I was here for Christmas celebration last year. I did a lot of videos on that. So you guys can go check out some of those videos from 2020 but yeah uh let's see it looks like the monster stomp stage is still up they haven't gotten rid of that yet uh but yeah no more ripper row around here how depressing i love the i love that though i love the progress they've made on title surge I, I hope it opens really soon pretty sure this is the last weekend for beer fest i know it ends like a week after hollow scream does so yeah Hopefully these things leave pretty soon so Dolphin Tour is going to be a lot easier. Because <laughs> people don't know Dolphin Tour meets back there. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see, what time is the Orca shows today? 2 o'clock and 5.30. Nice. Heading over to what used to be Zombie Zone during Hollow Screen. They still have the car over here. But they started adding all these like bulbs and, and lights over here by Orca Stadium. Yeah. Dang, man. It sucks not seeing all the Hollow Scream stuff over here. I really liked Hollow Scream. It looks like they're doing some run-throughs of stuff over at Orca. Yeah, and there was Zombie Horde all the way over there. I'm gonna miss Hollow Scream, like, a lot. Oh, they got more over here, too. Check it out. Nice, over here by Texas Stingray. That's cool. They've also got the little lights wall over here right on the fence near Texas Stingray and where Milton Creek Manor is. Let's go check out, check out some of those lights. Took a lot of pictures over on these light walls uh, last year. They're really pretty. I think, there's, I, think it's, I think it's all blue lights from what I remember. But yeah, these lights are really pretty. Can't wait to see them lit up. Oh, sadness. Pure sadness. I can hear the music in my head right now. See you next year, Milton Creek. What the heck? What are all these bottles over here when you're a turtle reef? What the heck? Are these supposed to be lights? Oh yeah, they are lights. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. 
you know, recyclables. Turtles, did y'all do this? Did you guys do these decorations? I think they did. So yeah, Texas Stingray has no weight. I mean, usually it has no weight, but there is literally nobody here at this park today. I mean, there's quite a fair few people, but yeah. Sea Swinger, they're tight skier running today. That's pretty cool. Oh, check this out. The little archway where all the strobe lights were for a uh, vampire point were are they're gone now but they have these cool lights over here coming through here at night is gonna be so awesome i'm so excited and it looks like mistletoe market's open and this whole area where vampire point was uh they've now redo redone it and i don't think rear loco is open either so there's that it brings me great sadness that there's no hardcore edm and you know, use it like that. Vamp that's what Vampire Point was. I guess that's gonna be Santa's workshop. Cool. Bunch of cool little lights around here. Oh, Rio Loco is closed for annual maintenance. Operation will resume in spring 22. Well, there we, there we go. That explains why there's no uh, Rio Loco open, but yeah, these lights and decorations look pretty awesome. Oh, the cowboy boot Christmas tree, that's amazing. Yeah. If you ask me, I like it better when it was Vampire Point. Hello, Great White. Good to see you again. Oh, there's, some, there's a group going down. There's probably like nobody on Great White right now, to be honest. There they go. Whee! Good old Great White. More little light clusters right here on the fence near Great White. That's pretty cool. Aw, the fear pass thing is not, is not there anymore. And there's also no more Shadow Street, but there is a right, tiger. <laughs> oh, now I feel now I feel very empowered walking through this area. <laughs> but yeah, no more Shadow Street. I'm sad. And no more and no more uh, Carver's Cradle either. Dang. Literally, this whole video is turning into me being sad about all the Hollow Scream stuff gone. <laughs> I will do stuff, I promise. <laughs> Chili puff. <laughs> and now I will lament over on Earth not being here, but I will lament even more knowing that we will never see it again. Oh man, I wish I could go through Unearth one more time. Rip, Scarlet. It's done, it's like done done. It's not coming back rip let's check the wave breaker line there's probably nobody because the park is dead oh yeah there's literally nobody here literally nobody here i might i might write wave breaker later but yeah of course the only territory that still has stuff up is industry district of course scorch bar is still here the dj set is still here all the cirque du soleil stuff is gone and the little Sinistry sign over here is still here. See here, Scorch Bar. And that's where the DJ was. And then here's the Sinistry sign. Oh, camera. Ugh. And then there's the Sinistry sign where uh, I took a bunch of pictures with my uh, mad scientist costume. <laughs> but yeah, of course this would be the only, the only territory that still has stuff up. Of course. So it looks like we have no more, uh, what's this called? Blackwater body stuff. We got a bunch of cool stuff like gingerbread houses and the little lights on the ground. Cute. That's kind of cool. They don't have anything left from the Blackwater body. They did this area in like a week, dude. That's crazy. That <laughs> dog waste station. I love that. It looks like, uh, Lone Star Lakeside Bar is back. It was the voodoo bar during uh, How to Scream, but yeah. And there's uh, the Haunted House song of Blackwater Bayou. Right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go get some lunch. Then I'm gonna go ride Steel Eel. Yeah, they still have the little Hollow Scream posts still up. I haven't taken those down yet. Man, I'm gonna miss Hollow Scream. 
Squad roll out. <laughs> I love the geese. Just spent some time over at pools, probably about 30 minutes over at pools. Uh, one of my uh, camp, our fellow camp counselors, who's an educator, now turned assistant supervisors over there. So we're just chatting for a little bit, watching the sea lions hang out. Um, so yeah, uh, my food's settled now. So I'm gonna go start doing some rides. Probably go do, steel, or probably just go around uh, clockwise. Steel eel, wave breaker, great white, and then maybe a few left on Texas, Texas Stingray, and then go ahead and call it a day. Oh, gotta get popcorn too, so. Yeah. All right, first stop, first ride of the day, Steel Eel. Let's get it. All right, so just did Steel Eel, uh, front row. There was no wait for it. Um, it was cold. It's kind of chilly out, so the wind in the front row made that ride pretty cold. So, yeah. Oh god, I almost dropped my phone. Holy crap! All right, let's go do Wave Breaker now. All right, time for Wave Breaker. Let me get a locker first. All right, guys, so just got to ride uh, Wave Breaker and Great White. Uh, front row on both of them, and a Zen ride on Great White at that. Um, oh, it's going right now. So, yeah, pretty good. I had good rides on both of them. I got staple on, on Wave Breaker, um, but it doesn't matter. The ride sucked anyway, but yeah. All right, I'm going to go do a couple laps on Texas Stingray and then get the popcorn to call it a day. I just rode that. It is absolutely beautiful out right now. Like there's no clouds in the sky. The sun is out. Of course, the one day that I don't bring my sunglasses, I didn't think I was gonna need them. And there's like nobody here. It's like the perfect day to come to SeaWorld. Yeah. Let's go to Texas Stingray. So I just got off a of Texas Stingray and it looks like they're starting to keep going on the building for tidal surge right now. Let's go check it out. Looks like they're very close to uh, topping it off. Well, that's pretty cool. Some guys doing work up there. I don't think those, those parts were there earlier. That's cool. Let's be honest. This is the real reason I came today. I'm obsessed with this popcorn. Pretty good popcorn break. Uh, I love the popcorn here. Much better than the one at Six Flags. Um, so, kind of running out of time here at SeaWorld. So I'm gonna go ahead and start heading out. I uh, forgot something at home I need to bring for something I'm doing later. So I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go leave a little bit early. Um, but I had a pretty good time here. Oh, dang. I didn't even see this one. Hold on, one second. I guess I missed going by here. Check out the Nutcrackers. That's cool. Anyway, pretty enjoyable time here at SeaWorld today. Got to do a bunch of rides and kind of hang out at places. Oh, I didn't go to Polar. Dang it. Eh. I'm, going, I'm going there tomorrow for my pip anyway, so who cares? Um, anyway, that's going to go ahead and end the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below um, if you're not subscribed yet for all kinds of new content from Texas Theme Parks and beyond. Uh, make sure to like the video. Comment down below your favorite Christmas event at SeaWorld or at any theme park. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.